What if you get a problem like this? Seven squared to the fourth power. Multiply this exponent by this exponent. It's seven to the second times fourth power. It's seven to the eighth power, that's our answer. So if you can't remember, you multiply the exponents together, here's a way that you can think about it. This is seven squared to the fourth power. That means that it's this thing times itself four times. Seven squared is really the same as seven times seven, so I broke it apart. There ended up being eight sevens. It's seven to the eighth and the same answer. Let's do another one. Three cubed to the power of two. The advanced way, you multiply those exponents together, you get three to the sixth power, answer is 729. The easy way out of that, times that by itself two times, because it's to the power of two. Three cubed times three cubed. Six threes, just like right up here. Oh, cool. It's only getting better, dudes. We have the square root of seven to the fourth power. When you have one exponent and you take the square root, that means you need to do the division. To the power of four over two, you have seven squared, the answer is 49. We have seven to the fourth underneath the radical. We can expand that out. We have two sets of perfect squares. We end up with seven times seven, 49. Here's another one. The cubed root of three to the sixth is three to the power of six divided by three or three squared. Our answer is nine. So this is three times itself six times, so I go ahead and expand that. There are plenty of perfect cubes in here. Because we're dealing with a cubed root, we need to be looking for perfect cubes, not perfect squares. Underneath the square root, a perfect square is two. Underneath a cube root, a perfect cube is three. So we have two sets of perfect cubes, three times three, the answer is nine. So what if we have something like this, four to the third plus four to the third, you're gonna have in total two four to the thirds. Plus and minus works out like this as long as the base is the same. Three to the fourth, three to the fourth, seven to the fourth. Well, these have the same base so we can combine them. So this is our simplified answer of that.